Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So I'm in the middle of farming my dark dungeons for the day. Um, just gonna do, finish up this last run before I go out. I actually realized that I think it might be a little bit faster to run the dark dungeon with a sapper comp because of how the, how much HP the boss actually has, or maybe he has really high defense or something like that. So it's definitely taking a long, long time to to kill him. Yeah, this is taking taking a lot longer than this is actually taking longer than Golden Speed 10, I think. It's definitely a lot longer than, than the Starstone Dungeon. Like, even when I do armor break him, I, I still don't do that much damage to him. So, I definitely think maybe a Sapper Con might be better for, for running this. Um, but I think I, I'll run something like a, like a July Sapper Con, and then maybe that'll be a little bit faster, and then I'll, I'll still keep my Dark Sea Star in, and then like run two Sappers or something like that. So, and the Dark Sea Star can help me um, clear through the level a lot faster. So yeah, um, I'm going to be working on my Dark Gatito very, very soon. My Dark Gatito is going to be my monster that I'm going to be using to help me clear TOC for, for fifth, um, I think it was 40 that I was stuck on. And also, it's going to be helping me do my Golem and Dragon Speed 10. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I can a I'm able to use it for Golem Speed 10, because if I if I want to run the Dark Gatito, I might need to run like a a comp that has more more nukers and not not like so many defensive monsters. Um, I think I think my monsters do do pretty decent damage. Um, I think a really really stable comp that I might be able to run for Golem Speed 10 is probably to run something that has. Um, that has like just aggression or something like that because it's it's a lot safer. It's just having because if if I build an aggressor, it's going to be really it's going to be relatively tanky. At the same time, it's going to be able to do a lot of damage, meaning that when I'm fighting the moonflowers, I might be able to kill them before they get their AOE nukes up. It's a lot safer if I can kill them before they get their AOE nukes up. And even if they do like one or two of them do have like a full bar and they nuke at the same time, um, aggressors will be tanky enough to you know, absorb damage so they won't die. So I think maybe if I um, replace my Arthur with like a, another aggressor, either the, the Light Knight or maybe the Dark Miho, because I already do have an Evil 3 Dark Miho. Um, building a Light Nike at this point might be a little bit hard for me because I I kind of used all the all my fusion material for um, for rebirthing for July's. So yeah, I, I also forgot to mention that I finally got my July to Evil 3. <coughs> Oh man, I almost like, I almost choked on my saliva again. Just, I don't know if that that ever happens when you're talking too fast. But I did get her to evil three, and she's she's a lot stronger now. So if if you are looking at her heals, she's healing for four thousand nine hundred every single turn that she she attacks. Um, the unfortunate thing is I don't have a gem of life set. Like I don't have an, a really. Really, well, I, actually, I don't have a six-star gem of life set like that I can use for her. Um, you know, I think the only way I can get her HP higher is if I if I switch completely to using a gem of life set. But I think it's it's still pretty decent that I'm using this broken set. It's definitely um, definitely not bad. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna five-star my my Gatito really fast. Wait, I still don't have enough lows. Holy crap! All right, I definitely need to do a lot more farming. Um, I'm not sure if I have anything to summon. I have like one egg. That's that's all I got. Hey, you never know. Maybe that one that one egg is lucky. I'll get a nat five or something. Nope, nope, not happening. All right. Um. Yeah, I actually, actually, someone mentioned in one of the, in, in the comment that um, I haven't actually went and did my like you know I haven't completed my quest. If you look over here, I'm still on the stage one of Mirage Ruins on Extreme, and I'm probably gonna just probably finish this really really soon. I mean, most of these are pretty easy to do. It's into the Tower of Chaos ones, uh, the Mirage Ruins. You know, basically, just a lot of a lot of random stuff like clear golems. I can pretty much do everything, like I can do all this, and um, yeah, and then eventually get to Star Sanctuary and and clear it, um, clear the last stage on Extreme and get this one legendary egg. So there's also another thing, I actually have not played through all the new maps, like I, I actually haven't even bothered to go to the new maps at all, because um, 
yeah, I, I don't, I don't feel like I need any of these monsters. Like they're, they're pretty good monsters, but I, I, I just think, um, I just think I, I don't really need to, need to like, you know, farm any of them. So it's, so I haven't really, um, I haven't even started on that. And I've been really, really busy working on my, my project Sappy, and then after Project Sappy, um, the July thing, rebirthing came around, and I, I finally finished my, my July. So I'm not too in too much of a rush to, to, to do that because there's no there's really no actual point in me um, farming those maps besides to you know eventually clear it to to get all the all the eggs and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna test out I'm gonna test out a comp. I'm gonna use a double sapper comp. I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna put in two sappers basically and maybe this will be able to run it faster. I don't know if even using my July is a good idea. I wish I had three sappers. Actually I do have three sappers. Maybe I should just I should just raise this water Persephone to like five stars max level and then I could use her. I, I think I even have the resources to six star her so it's not it's not gonna be too hard. Um, and then I can use that to, to sap this boss maybe. Okay, let's 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 test it out with two sappers. I think um I'm not sure if I'm able to sustain them. They both have really, really high HP pools. Maybe this is better. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it with the Dark July because she actually clears through the level really fast, and maybe I don't need to have that many saps for the boss. Um, no, but it's usually the boss that takes a long time. I'm gonna try it with this comp, and I'm gonna comp compare it with the with running the Water Hana. Yeah, I think most of the most most of the stage is pretty easy to clear. Like they don't have a lot of HP, so I could probably clear through this really fast. Um, the boss does have a little bit of resistance, but I think it's it's definitely it's definitely okay. It's not it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, so yesterday I actually went and looked at the Wood Wild thing and the Light Ghost, and I noticed that their their stats are actually pretty similar. And actually the the Light Ghost at Evil Three actually has better stats. So I actually decided to actually raise the Light Ghost instead instead of the Wood Wild thing because, um, yeah, it's 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 a lot easier. I don't have to invest any resources. Like I could use my Wild things for my Light Wild thing or or anybody else. Um, I don't exactly need to. Need to use my wild fangs for that then yeah i think using my dark july might be better because she does have a very nice um very nice aoe nuke because she is an aggressor i mean she's an hp type aggressor but she's still an aggressor like it's still decent amounts of damage and um yeah i think two nukers to help me clear through the stage and then have two sappers to just, you know, completely sap the boss to death. I mean, the water Miho isn't all that good, um, but I do have a lot of, like, really good sappers as well, like, besides the water Miho, I have the, I have the fire Loki, I have, um, I have the fire Persephone as well, so there's, I have a lot of, uh, really good sappers that maybe I should raise just to help me clear, um, these stages every single week, because sap actually is, is really good for some of these elemental dungeons, especially the ones with really high defense or really high HP. I think the dark dungeon has, has really high defense or something like that, because whenever I armor break them, I actually don't do that much damage. Yeah, this might be a good comp. We'll compare the time. We'll, we'll we'll try this, and then we'll try the water Hana next. But I think I think this is probably faster because because um, the Dark July helps me clear through the the stages a little bit faster. Or maybe I'm just biased because I really really like this monster. I don't know. I I think the the um, introduction of the Dark July has just reignited my passion for this game. I think I was I was really really tilted for a very long time because I. I had to go and make this like sap comp and stuff because I was missing a passive healer and I missed that passive healer because I started playing the game late you know so I just thought it, it like really hurt the players a lot that started like um, started later, later on I hope hopefully in the future maybe they'll introduce a monster that is like three stars and is also like one of the normal element monsters that's also a a um, you know a passive healer and then like this way everybody has access to at least one passive healer even if it's even if it's weaker than all the other passive healers like the dark jack or the dark fly um 
Yeah, this comp is this comp's way faster. Like just sapping the boss is is so fast. I just wish there was a monster like like a a single target monster that can like throw a ton of zaps on the boss, you know? Like maybe just have like, like this one nuke and then like put like, you know, four no, not four, like six one turn zaps on the boss or something like that. That would be awesome. I think if I had the Dark Jack, it would be better for this. The Dark Jack also has Sap. But Aggression's really nice. Aggression helps me um, clear through the stage really fast. Yeah, running two Sappers is definitely a lot faster. Uh, did I turn off the auto? Oh yeah, I did. It was never on. It was never actually on auto. Wait, is this... Is this the lucky secret egg? I got a lucky secret egg. Wait, um... I'm gonna I'm gonna test it once with the water hana. Actually, I, I forgot to look at the time. Alright, fuck it. We're just gonna go out and, and do the secret egg. This is this is probably faster anyways. And then I'll... I'll see what I get and then end the video. Um... But yeah, I... I'm definitely gonna... Gonna be be going back to the tower very very soon once I have my Dark Atito. So definitely look forward to that. Um, wait, what was I going to do? I was going to summon that summon that l lucky egg. This is a nat 5, alright? I, I feel it. I feel it. I feel like it's going to become a nat 5. Look, look at the lightning. Nope. Nope, didn't happen. Oh, it's a July. I could uh, I can use it for my my um, for my other July, my, my light July. I actually forgot what the Light July does. I actually have no idea what, what it can actually do. Oh, it was Seal. Yeah, yeah, she's a Sealer. This is actually really strong, like, 100% two-turn Seal. And then... AoE defense break. 100%. If you can get her crit rate to 100%. Which isn't hard, because she's Light type, you know, so it's... Um, you probably only need one crit rate, and then... Two, two random slots, and then you can push it to 100% pretty easily. Um, as long as you have a 6-star crit rate gen. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm definitely going to be working on a lot more videos, um, so look, look forward to that. I'm going to go back to um, spamming uploads again, because I've been I've been really, really, really messed up. My, my sleep schedule has been super, super messed up. It's, it's just... Um, ever since I went to Canada and came back, it was it was horrible. It's been it's been really really bad, and I'm often like going through the day like just feeling super super tired. But I don't, I know all, all these are excuses, but um, yeah, I just it doesn't it's it's hard for me to speak when I'm tired. I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Like even now, I'm still somewhat tired, so I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. That's why I'm like retarded half of the time. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.